Hey guys, it's Hannah here and welcome back to my channel. Today I am unboxing the June Simply Goddard box, which is called, as you can see, Whale Tail, which is a super adorable pun <laughs> um, with the tail and, but it's spelled as tail, like fairy tail. So that's really cute. I love puns, especially ones with animals included. Just adorable. This is a really, I guess, kind of ocean-y <laughs> vibe. And I mean, summer is coming to an end, so I might actually save all of these goodies um, for next year. I already have a setup in mind, but I don't mind waiting because that way I can be early when it comes to a new summer setup. But I love all of the illustrations in this kit. I love all the ocean animals and you know, fish and so cute. I love this one. I forget what these are called, but I love them. I think they're really, really fun. And we have jellyfish of all shapes and sizes, just adorable. And of course the whale, which is adorable. Although I think this is a whale shark. So let's get started, shall we? To see everything inside. I'm not sure actually if I have been spoiled with the mystery item. We'll see, but I will see and find out now what the mystery item is. Just, ooh, well, I think the mystery item just fell out. It looks to be a pen, a, let's see what it says, pen tool sparkle pop. That's interesting. I'm gonna have to try it on something. Maybe I could try it on the menu card. Yes, it's a beautiful sparkly green color. It's like a deep green. This is beautiful. I don't know if I actually have a sparkly pen in this color and it was really smooth to write with. So really exciting. So this is probably the mystery item. Now you've been spoiled. But this is kind of a while ago with this box. So I think most people, if you have the box, I mean, you already know. I guess I'm just gonna pull a little at a time. Maybe I'm gonna start with the flat stuff right here. Ooh. Okay, so we have the sticker kit. I'm gonna start, let's see, with this sticker kit then. Oh, this is such a gorgeous kit. I love all these soft pastel colors and this time around they are paired with hollow foil, silver hollow foil, which fits super well. And I really like hollow for summer. Um, you know, I don't know, it just, I feel like it fits really well. So we have two beautiful sheets here. I just love all the softness of these colors, so cute. Let's look a little bit more detail. So I have day covers. I love the whale shark. Dream big, this one says. We have some headers, some decorative stickers and the functionals and more. Full boxes, I adore the jellyfishes. So cute. And this one, man, I need to remember what this one is called. I feel like this one is missing an eye <laughs> or I guess um, a pupil, but <laughs> super cute anyway. And we have the second sheet here with two more sets of day covers, which I love. This one has gorgeous hollow stars and the pink. And we have more jellyfish. And this is like a Finding Nemo and Finding Dory reference with Keep Swimming, which is so cute. And we have some more functional stuff here. Then we have the extra half sheet mini sheet with some more deco it's so dainty and so tiny and the half boxes we get five of them these days which i love because i love half boxes um i actually kind of i'm hoping that she will reformat these stickers to maybe add like an extra full sheet to add more functional stuff like this and we have an extra full box too and some checklists and we also get ooh, these are sparkly her heart icon stickers with this gorgeous sparkle overlay. Do you see that? That's gorgeous. So we have a bunch of those and then we have date dots, but in the shape of hearts. I love these too, super functional. I love to receive the dates because it makes it so much easier when I'm actually using the date covers. Um, just pull in, you know, the date of the week, which is awesome. So loving all of this. And also we get the seals, the bow seals. These are gorgeous. 
And yeah, those that was everything in the sticker pack. Then we have some specialty papers. I believe there's one vellum and one acetate in here. And I love receiving these because I can get so creative to use them in my planners. I love cutting them down to use, you know, in my personal planner. I just trim it. It's about the same height, I think, but I trim it. Well, first I trim it in the middle. So I get two pieces of paper and then I trim it just a little bit on each side. So it fits personal size, but these are great for personal actually. And I always save the little X access uh, pieces, you know, that I cut off. Um, as scraps and I can use that for scrapbooking, card making, um, journaling purposes. I love having little scraps like that. I always save them when they're as pretty as this. This pattern is super cute too. I just love the little hearts and there's some hollow foiling and the stars. Super, super cute. I also adore this acetate with the hollow stars. I think she has a lot of stars in this one, which is kind of fun because it's like a sea theme, but it's stars. But I think the stars are supposed to resemble like sea stars, um, which is such a cute combo to kind of add that in. So these are just gorgeous. I mean, this one you could easily use for more of a galaxy theme spread, but it's so cute that she, in she has incorporated that a little bit here and there, I think. And this is the insert of the month. This one, as you can see, has a beautiful pattern on front and back. I'm gonna try to get it open to show you better. This time it was easy. Sometimes these are super hard to get open. Ooh, there we go. So I love this print. It's so simple with just these stripes, but it has in different colors and the hollow foiled lines with the pink and different shades of blue. Love it. And it's a front and back, which I love too. I can make a dashboard out of this or I could make page lifter. You know, I, I usually use it together in setups. Actually, a lot of times I cut these up. <laughs> I know it's an insert, but I rarely use you know, little notebooks like this. I'm not a TN user either. So I usually just take out the thread and then I have like cardstock that I can cut up and use. So a lot of times I laminate it or I use a dashboard and page lifter. And th with this, I'm definitely planning on using these together somehow in some sort of summer setup, most likely for ne next summer since it's a little bit I'm a little bit losing the summer vibes right now. I'm more feeling the, the fall tones soon. So, I'm well, at least I have something to look forward to next summer. Alrighty, next thing is not so little. This is a big and very generous item that Irene has added this month. It is none other than a full sticker album. This one is beautifully foiled with that beautiful pattern of the stars and hollow on a soft blue background. I always love her heart closures. It's so adorable. It looks like a little purse almost. And it does have a D-ring as usual. Um, so you could put a charm on here. I almost sometimes wish it had on both sides so you could make it into a, you know, something you could carry <laughs> on your shoulder if you wanted. But this is actually great because because I always receive new stickers, I need more space to store them. So it's perfect that she from time to time includes this. And I also love these because they are so easy to use. We have on each side, we can slide in the stickers, which is wonderful. And there's even a little pocket here. You can add some sort of, well, I like to add just sticker paper. When I use up a sheet of something, I peel off the rest of the just access sticker paper. And then I have the backing and I, well, it would look like this. I add the backing in there because that's the backing. The sticker backing is super useful to use for different things. So a lot of times I just keep that there or some extra stickers that somehow didn't fit in here or didn't work. I don't know, but it's good to have options. I like it. I like it. So I'm super thankful that she has included this one. And this is such a beautiful design too. So I'm super happy with it. Alrighty, so next up, I believe we have the smaller items here. Yes! So here, oh, I always love these little plastic bags. They're so cute. I still need to find something to use them for. Because, I mean, we'll be getting them for, I think, soon a year. 
and they're so cute, but I don't know what to use them for. So I'm just gonna take all this stuff out. Ooh, not so gracefully on my part. But look at this, look at the cute little fishes. Or fish, I think you're supposed to say. I mean, I really want to find some good use for these, but we'll see. If you have the box, what do you use these for? Do you have a good practical solution for them? Or just a fun crafty one, maybe? I don't know, let me know in the comments, please. So, oh, we have lots of goodies here. We have, this is so cute. This is a little tiny sticky note pad in the shape of hearts and they are vellum. Ooh, okay, I need to. <laughs> so these are vellum, so they are kind of see-through as you can tell, which I found really useful to use. Actually, I use a lot of vellum sticky notes in my Bible journaling and just memory keeping and making notes in my Bible mostly uh, because I like that there's kind of see-through so I can put them over text and I can still kind of read through it. So I really like the vellum ones and these heart ones are super, super cute. And we have the pen, which, oh, this one is so cute and I'm really looking forward to using this one in the setup that I hopefully will be making out of all of these goodies. We have a beautiful ombre starting with a little bit of a darker blue, going to lighter blue and ends in a slightly darker blue too, I think. It goes from dark to light to a little bit darker. Such a beautiful ombre. And these, these little stars are just so cute. I love the shape of them. And we have the engraved, simply gilded and the bow, of course, it's super cute. Love this pen. And we also have this pack of washi cards. <laughs> I love actually when she includes these because these are super practical too. And the back in here is so cute. You could easily like make this into a washi card too. You could maybe cut off the top and you can laminate it and then use it as a washi card just like these. So I love when there's so much attention to detail to even make like the packaging part of things to make that pretty. I appreciate that so much. I mean, as a paper craft girl, you could always find ways to use this, right? So please keep that going, Irene. So we have the different washi cards here. Just gonna lay them out here so you can see. There's five. Oh, that's so awesome. This one is a little bit miscolored, it seems. But either way, we have the beautiful stripe. We have the jellyfish, which I love this pattern. I just think they're so cute and the pink. And we have the Finding Nemo, Finding Dory style one, keep swimming. We have the whale shark, which I love this little guy. And we have this beautiful pattern. I don't know if this pattern is called something specific, um, if it's a certain type of pattern, but it's symmetrical, it's beautiful, it's super, super cute. And before we get into the washi, we have the journaling card, which usually is one of the first things I see, but now it was the last. But it, it's once again that beautiful pattern. This would make a beautiful dashboard. This is something you could stare at for a long time and I feel like you could find and see new things each time. Such intricate detail, super cute. Alrighty, let's get into the washi. So we get a generous amount of washi this month. This is, let's see. Oh man, there's so many rolls. And there's even a double here, I don't know. And, and then this is the add-on, but I'm gonna take the non-add-on first. Here we have them. So we have a beautiful, what looks to be a coral reef design, like down in the deep. And we have some hollow fish and there's a turtle, more turtles. And there's a whale shark. You see that? So cute. Oh, these are beautiful. These are beautiful hollow, um, well, bows in this grayish blue color that we've seen throughout. This is probably my favorite. I think this one is so cute. This is the jellyfish hollow foiled, just a bunch of jellyfish. And some of them even have bows on them. Do you see? That's cute. And there's the little stars. Once again, it's pink, so that's why I love it. <laughs> And we have, oh my gosh, I just saw, do you see? Like Dumbo octopus, I think. 
Either way, I love those. They're so cute. And right now, I really feel like I want to watch a, like, ocean documentary. Because I want to see all these little guys. And these fish, I always forget what it's called. But those are big and flat and, and funny. Um, and this one reminds me of Finding Nemo too. And this little heart. And there we have Nemo and Dory. Maybe that's not Nemo. Maybe that's the father. I forget what his name is now. Either way, so cute. Oh my gosh, this whole box is just... I was so happy when Irene revealed it for the first time because I just fell in love immediately. Then we have this beautiful design that we've seen on the note book and, um, you know, throughout. I just love these stripes. I adore the colors. And last but not least, I'm always super excited about functional washi. So... This one is super cute. I love the fact that we got a day or date cover washi. So this is perforated hollow foil, which is so practical because every single time now, guys, that I want to make a hollow foil spread or where the foiling is hollow, I could just use this one. Uh, it's so practical. It's so great. I love her perforated day cover washi. It's my Fave. I love the functionality of it. So I'm so thankful for this. And the top one here is actually um, a perforated like header washi. So it's the same width. They're the same width, you know, you can use as a header. But do you see? It's like little bubbles because she's made them. I think they're foiled here. So it looks like little bubbles, which is so cute. I love this so much. So that's everything. I mean, this is a washy heavy box, guys. It's amazing how many she managed to put in there. And then also here is my little add on skinny washi, which I'm also subscribed to. Oh, these are gorgeous. So we have this new starry pattern that was introduced with this box. And we have a skinny version of these little bows. And this is Aurora Pink, I think, this foiling, which is beautiful. It's like a hollow pink. And, ooh, this one is, this is a lot of foiling, different types. I think she calls these color block, I call them half and half. And it's in that crystal hollow design. That's beautiful. Such a beautiful combination of colors and styles. What an amazing washi stack, right? Alrighty, guys, so this is it for the whale tail box. So cute, gorgeous, pretty. I love it. Definitely one of my favorites of 2021 so far. I just adore the style and everything. All the cute little illustrations that Irene has included. Love it, love it, love it. And I'm so glad to have it in my hands. And I really want to get playing with it. Maybe I'll cheat a little and create a summer setup at the end of summer. And maybe not use it until next summer. But, you know, we'll see. I'm still really, really glad to have it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more and my other Simply Gilded unboxings, I'm still subscribed to the box. So every month, you know, I get the new one. So if you want that, of course, don't forget to subscribe. And you know, when I make planner setups and share with you all planner crafty goodness, um, like I said, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're really dedicated, you can also push the uh, push notification bell so that you don't miss a single upload. If you do that, thank you so much. I really appreciate it and it means lots. Um, and if you don't, that's okay too. I'm glad you watched this video. Thank you for that. And I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.